Hello my dear students, myself Dr. Pitambar Humne, founder Botany for you and working as associate professor and head department of Botany, Dharampet MP Dev Memorial Science College, Nagpur, Maharashtra, India. I welcome you all in this online platform for the students of Life Sciences, Botany for you. Friends, if you are new or not yet subscribed our YouTube channel, then kindly like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel, Botany for you. If you want to associate with us through the telegram group then the link of the group is given in the description through that you can join the telegram group and take the advantage of the different pdf books as well as the different career opportunities in india and abroad in life sciences in our last lecture we have seen the diffusion and osmosis and in osmosis we have seen the osmotic pressure is responsible for the absorption of the water by the cell. And I already told you, only the osmotic pressure of the cell is not responsible for the absorption of the water by the cell. How? That we will see in today's lecture. So, we will see today that is the diffusion pressure deficit that is DPD which is one of the important topics from the plant physiology for the students of UG and PG also. So, let's see what is diffusion pressure deficit. Friends, earlier we have seen the diffusion means the transport of solid particles from the region of higher concentration to the region of lower concentration. And in osmosis, we have seen the transport of solvent particles from the region of lower concentration to the region of higher concentration. And today, we will see the diffusion pressure deficit. And it is also known as the suction pressure. See, the diffusion pressure deficit. Deficit means the lacuna or the requirement that is coming. So, means the cell has that particular amount of the water to be accommodated and that is nothing but the ability to absorb the water that is nothing but the suction pressure and hence the DPD is also known as the suction pressure. So, if you see the diffusion pressure of a solution is always lower than its pure solvent. Say for example, if we have the two containers, say for example, now the container A and the container B or even we can convert it into the cell that is the cell A and cell B. Suppose now the cell A contain the sugar solution and the cell B contain the water. It means that this is the solution and this is the its pure solvent. It means the DPD of the cell or the container A is always lower than the pure solvent and the DPD of the B will be higher and hence from the higher to lower there will be entry of water. Then the difference between the diffusion pressure of the solution and its solvent at a particular temperature and atmospheric conditions is called as the diffusion pressure deficit that is the DPD. It means that here the cell or the container A contain its DPD and of the B also. So, this difference in between these two that we have seen always the pure solvent having the higher DPD and its solution having the lower DPD and this difference in between these two that is known as the diffusion pressure deficit. If we see this diffusion pressure deficit, it is directly proportional to the concentration of the solution. As we have seen that the osmotic pressure is also 
directly proportional to the concentration of the solution but how that only the osmotic pressure is not responsible for the absorption of the water by the cell instead of that the dpd is responsible for the absorption of the water that we will see in the today then the dpd of the cell sap or the cell is measure of the ability of the cell to absorb the water how much dpd is lower then on that basis we can say that how much water that cell will be able to absorb the water and hence the dpd is a measure of the cell to absorb the water and hence it is known as the suction pressure and hence the dpd is also synonymously considered as a suction pressure now say for example now we have these different cells that is the cell a cell b cell c and cell d in which now here this is the cell having a highly concentrated cell sap it means that this cell will have ability to absorb the more quantity of the water than the cell b c and the d it means that here the osmotic pressure will be higher of the cell a as compared to the osmotic pressure of the cell d whatever the type of the osmotic pressure of the cell d as this cell is turgid it will not absorb the water but at the same time here this cell will be able to absorb the water and hence this dpd or the diffusion pressure deficit is depend upon the osmotic pressure but some other factors are also taken into the consideration when the cell absorb the water and in this way the maximum amount of the water will be absorbed by the cell a then b then c and no water will be absorbed by the cell d as here the cell is completely turgid and hence we can easily understand that the osmotic pressure is not only the measure of the suction pressure then the relation of dpd that is diffusion pressure deficit which is also known as the suction pressure then osmotic pressure turgor pressure and the wall pressure earlier we have seen that when the certain solute is added in a solvent then there is a creation of the pressure and that is known as the osmotic pressure and the osmotic pressure is directly proportional to the concentration of the solution then the pressure which is created by the plasma membrane that is known as the turgor pressure and the pressure which is created by the uh, cell wall that is known as the wall pressure so the dpd or sp is equal to the osmotic pressure minus wall pressure but if we see the cell then we will find that the wall pressure is equal to the turgor pressure and hence here the wall pressure can be replaced by the turgor pressure and hence our formula becomes now the dpd that is the sp is equal to the osmotic pressure minus turgor pressure now if you see the different type of the cell that is the fully turgid cell in fully plasmolite cell and the cell is placed in a hypotonic solution so if the cell is completely turgid in such a cases the osmotic pressure is equal to the turgor pressure and hence the if this turgor pressure and the osmotic pressure is equal at that time the dpd will be zero then whatever the osmotic pressure of that cell then also that cell will not absorb the water as its dpd or the suction pressure means the ability to absorb the water is zero and in this way we can say that here the os only the osmotic pressure is not responsible for the absorption of the water instead of that the dpd is responsible for the absorption of the water by the cell then if we see the fully plasmolyzed cell in such a cases if the cell is fully plasmolyzed at that time the turgor pressure is zero 
and in such cases the ability of the cell to absorb the water will be equal to the osmotic pressure and in this way here the dpd or the suction pressure is equal to the osmotic pressure in case of the plasmolite cells but if the cell is placed in a hypotonic solution means the outer side solution having some less concentrated so in such a cases the dpd or the sp is equal to the osmotic pressure of the cell minus osmotic pressure of the outer solution minus turgor pressure so in this way we can calculate the dpd or the suction pressure of any cell then if we have to see these two different cells that is the cell a and cell b then we will be able to un understand properly that only the osmotic pressure is not responsible for the absorption of the water by the cell but the dpd or the sp is responsible for the absorption of the water by the cell let's see here in the first one that is the osmotic pressure is a 25 and here the osmotic pressure is a 30 and here the water is entering from cell a to cell b but at the same time the turgor pressure is 15 atmosphere and in a cell b the turgor pressure is 10 atmosphere so we have seen the formula that the dpd is equal to the op that is osmotic pressure minus turgor pressure so here the sp or the dpd equal to the 15 atmosphere for the cell b and the 10 atmosphere for the cell a and hence the water will move from cell a to cell b but if we see this another example having some different concentration see here the osmotic pressure is 35 atmosphere and here the osmotic pressure is 40 atmosphere so if you see only the osmotic pressure there must be the transport of water from cell a to cell b as the op of the cell b is higher but the tp of both the cell that is the turgor pressure of both the cell is different the tp of the cell a is 10 atmosphere and the turgor pressure of the cell b is 20 atmosphere and hence the sp of the cell a becomes now the 25 atmosphere and the sp of the cell b is 20 atmosphere so because of this as the sp is more in the cell a the water will move from cell b to cell a it means that here whatever the value or the osmotic pressure of the cell is not solely depend or responsible for the absorption of the water but more appropriately or correctly the dpd or the sp is responsible to absorb the water by the cell so in this way we can say that here the dpd is one of the most important factor in absorption of the water by the cell in the plant body again here we can determine the dpd or the suction pressure of the particular cell in the laboratory here the different test tubes are taken that is 1 to 8 in number as a plant material we can take either the potato or even we can take the beetroot whenever we are taking the plant material we have to peeled off the outer covering as mostly it is impermeable to the water after that we have to prepare the certain segments of the potato or the beetroot with the help of cork borer and the equal amount of the or equal segments are taken into the sugar solution in the test tube now these contain say for example 0.5 molar then 0.45 molar then 0.4 molar then 0.35 molar and etc 
so all the test tube containing the sugar solution with the known concentration and will keep this as it is for 24 hours after the 24 hours we will have to take the plant material that we have kept here in the form of the segments with the cork borer and dry it with the help of filter paper after that we have to wait the each segment now in the eight test tube we have the eight segments so we have to wait it so if one of the segment of the beetroot or the potato if found no change in its weight in such a condition we can say that the dpd or the suction pressure of that plant material is equal to the concentration of the sugar solution and with the help of that concentration of the sugar solution that is osmotic pressure of that sugar solution we can calculate the dpd or the suction pressure for that there is a formula which is given by jh von tropp which is popularly known as the von tropp's equation who is earlier awarded with the nobel prize in 1901 in the chemistry so the op is equal to the citr so that we can identify this osmotic pressure of the plant material so we know the c that is the concentration of the solution expressed as the molality that is the moles per kg of the water then i the activity coefficient for the non electrolyte such as the sugar it is 1 and for the electrolytes such as the nacl varies with their concentration we have taken the sugar as it is the 1 then r is the gas constant which is one of the value and the t is the absolute temperature that is k is is equal to the degree celsius plus 273 so in this way after getting the value of the osmotic pressure and that will be the equal to the dpd of that plant material so that we can calculate the osmotic pressure and then the dpd or the suction pressure of that particular plant material and hence this this type of the technique or the method can be used in the laboratory to find out the dpd or the suction pressure of any plant material or the cell so friends i am very much confident and hopeful that this lecture will be helpful to you in your studies in the preparation for the different examinations if you like this lecture and if it is useful to you then kindly like share and subscribe our youtube channel botany for you and also press bell icon for the alerts of every lecture to be uploaded on different life sciences titles thank you very much for the complete watching of this lecture and don't forget to join our telegram group with the help of link given in the description thanks a lot once again